all right guys so welcome back to another video so today i'm going to show you how to clean your golf grips uh, which uh, you should probably do it once a month because uh, of the amount of dirt that accumulates in the grip and then basically uh, it gets a lot of grease in it it loses its, uh, its performance because of the dirt now you can't really see it so a lot of times you look at them and you say like okay this is fine i can still use them but uh, if you look carefully there is a lot of dirt build up inside and, and the way you know that is because if you look at your glove this is like a pretty new glove I only used it like three or four times and look at the uh, the dirt that it transferred from the grip to the to the glove just just because I haven't cleaned this in a while so uh, today I will show you how I clean them uh, basically the way I do it I just uh, get a brush a soft brush some dish detergent and just run it in the sink and get all the dirt out i will show you how much grease how much dirt is in here because it's, it, there is a lot of, of grease in here so it'll take about um you know a couple of minutes to clean to clean each grip and then basically you just let it dry hopefully you can see this but it's basically really uh it's dark all through here it's almost like brownish and all it is is just grease um so when it's like this I, that's why i say um if you can clean them once a month it'd be ideal uh, because all the grease would accumulate all especially all through these parts right here so if you don't wash your grips this is what could happen to your glove um ultimately you will start um getting this spot right here in your glove it'll turn black and then it will just start wearing off the grease will accumulate there on the glove and it will tear it down okay so all you need is this right here this washer soap uh, you can get an old toothbrush or you can also get one of these right here not too hard though so this is like between soft and hard and all i gotta do is just put some in here and then i'm gonna start scrubbing You can actually tell when it starts getting uh, cleaner because it's going to be a little more difficult to brush. At the beginning, it's like really easy to brush because of the grease and then it starts to get a little more, um, a little harder to brush. So when you're finished completely, just use the towel to dry it and then we can take it outside and let it dry um, out in the sun. It will be ideal. So this is the final product. Uh, you can actually, uh, the way it feels, it just feels brand new. Really sticky, um, no, no grease at all, as you can see there. I cannot show you the another grip from the one that I haven't cleaned, and then you can definitely see the difference. If you look closely, the one over here is the dirty one. Really, really dirty, actually. You can see that. It almost looks like a like a different grip, but it's the same grip. It's just that this one is full of grease and this one is really clean. But I think most importantly, other than looking clean, I think it's just the feel. If I feel this and I feel this right here, um, this feels like, um, I mean, you can actually feel the grease on it. It can, it can easily slip away. And this one right here feels brand new, I mean. All right, guys, so that's the difference between a clean grip and a dirty grip. Obviously, when you do this, you want to clean all your grips because otherwise what's going to happen is uh, they're going to transfer into your glove and then your glove is going to go into the grip and then eventually uh, the whole cycle is going to start again. So make sure you clean all your grips. Uh, I'm telling you, it's worth it. I mean, you can just see it by this that there's a huge difference. Uh, this is, it looks like a completely different grip and it just, 
I, I just done it right now and it's so warm outside that it, it's already dry so you can actually just use it right away a lot of people blame it on the glove and they keep washing the gloves and basically they keep getting dirty over and over so no matter how many times you wash it they're always gonna get dirty because uh, the problem is not the glove is the grips uh, that's why I recommend washing your grips once a month if you wash your, gri your grips once a month, uh, you don't have to change them that often. They're, they're not gonna wear out that often. And then your gloves are not gonna wear out so quickly. So basically it's a win-win situation. All right guys, so that was it for the video. I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to use just a semi-soft uh, hard brush. Uh, don't scrub too hard, but you will see all the dirt come out immediately. Uh, even if you don't see it, because if you look at it like this, you could almost say that maybe there isn't anything here to clean, but once you start scrubbing, I scrubbed this like three times actually, and the dirt just came on coming. So um, again, it's just a, a complete different feel. And sometimes this right here could just make a huge difference in your golf swing. It's a little bit time consuming, but I think it's worth it because rather than buying new grips, you can still extend the life, the life of this uh, old grip by just washing it. And it will feel like new actually. I mean, it, to me, it feels really nice and you can uh, use it for i think like even over a year maybe a couple of years if you wash them all the time then it's going to start to tear up like this you know it's going to wear off like this where you have to uh eventually ultimately replace the the grip but make sure to clean your grips guys because it, it does make a difference especially when you're swing i'm telling you you're gonna make you're gonna feel the difference when you swing so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching until next time